What's going on guys? It's Stribbers and we are back with the Road to Platinum series in PGR2. But we've moved on to the arcade mode this time and I'll be running two series alongside each other. This series um, is going to be exactly the same as the Kudos World series where I show you the completed races and I'll do the post commentary on that. And this is more suited to the people that just want to see how to beat the event or an example of that event being done. And alongside this, I'll also be running a, a Let's Play, which is my first ever Let's Play. And that will be a, an event per episode, and it will include all of the fails and failed attempts of that episode uh, and that race. So I'll leave a link to that in the pop-out banner above if you fancy clicking that and having a look at that side of it. But in this series, we'll be doing the same as we've been doing before. So we'll be completing the event in the order shown. So we'll be starting with the street races, then onto the timed runs, and the cone challenges are going to be last, which should be very fun indeed. So in this episode, we'll be doing four street races uh, in the east to west section, all using different cars and all different circuits. So the first event is with the Chevrolet Camaro SS in Hong Kong. Um, I haven't driven American Muscle Car in a while. And it also took me the whole of the Let's Play to realise that um, it's east to west, as in you're in an American car and they're in Japanese cars or Asian cars. Uh, and for the first two events, you're in the American Muscle Cars or the American cars and they're in Japanese cars and then for the two events after that you are in the Japanese cars and the opponents are in the American cars and I had no idea that was uh, the case and I actually commented on it saying why are they all Japanese <laughs> and I didn't realize but uh, that is what this is about uh, my driving in these is not up to scratch uh, in most of the races mainly because I'm trying to commentate whilst driving, which I'm not used to, so I do make quite a few mistakes. Uh, and also, each new race uses a different car as well. So, um, you have to get used to it. I haven't had time to warm up with the car, so I try my best to do the events um, straight off the bat without uh, knowing how the car handles, so that can be a little bit more difficult. As you can see, I do keep it in the wall, but uh, we are in second place, coming into the third lap. So we've just got to track down this R RX-7. See if we can get past him. Luckily, we're kind of matched for straight line speed. So they're not any quicker than us. So I'm able just to get ahead of him in the Camaro. Which uh, handles okay. Not a brilliant car. A little bit of uh, understeer. But it is probably the best handling one in the American Muscle Series. But that isn't really saying a lot. So that's pretty easy, that street race. It's not going to be too many problems with that. Mainly because it's so small and you're in a decent car. So you shouldn't have too many attempts to do that. That was actually my first attempt. So uh, that's not too bad at all. As you can see all the cars there, we've got Mazda, Honda, Nissan, another Honda and a Toyota. So that's why I'm in an American car and they're in the Asian cars. Makes much more sense now that I've realised that. East to west. Okay, moving on to the second street race in Yokohama. And we are in another muscle car. The Ford SVT Cobra. And this is the, the smallest track in the game. And to be honest, this is pretty difficult. It took me a few attempts to uh, nail this one down. The key to this first corner is really going out wide and swinging in. To get as much speed out as possible. And getting past the... Uh, the other cars, I think it was the 3000 GT that went slightly wide because this skyline is going to be quite difficult to catch although we do manage to just about do it before coming across the last corner before the second lap yes that is a little bit more difficult to drive than the skyline the skyline power slides more but it does have better handling in general this just understeers a lot and it's a bit difficult to drive on this track so I'm taking some questionable lines, getting used to the car, crashing into the wall and defending as much as I can to try and hold that skyline off. Coming into the third lap, thinking he's going to make a move at this point, which he does go for. 
nearly spinning us out and going into the war. So having to go ultra defensive here to stop him coming around the inside. Because I really don't want to do it again. So it is going to be a bit more difficult. The best thing to do is try and get ahead as soon as possible. Because then we can try and defend it as best we can. But it was enough in the end with that blocking. We managed to come first. Get that platinum medal. And all these events and all these platinum medals and the kudos you get with it does add to your total kudos rank and kudos score. So that's quite nice. As we see, all the Japanese cars again. Nissan, Mitsubishi, Honda and Mazda. 5,800 kudos for that. Um, and if you do see a little discrepancy in the kudos amount that I've just got in the race and also that you see on the main screen, it's because I did film the first four races before I decided to do a Let's Play, so I had to redo the four races again um, in the Let's Play, and this footage is from uh, the successful Let's Play event. So, into the third event, we are in the Honda NSX-R, which I didn't get a chance to use in the Track Special series on Platinum. So, so far we've had three cars that we didn't use at all which is quite nice but uh, there's a theme with all three of these cars is they do understeer every single one of them and uh, so we swapped here so we're in the Japanese car now and we've got American cars that we are racing against and your biggest threat in this race is going to be that Corvette the supercar in blue back there we did get ahead of the Cobra but we should be able to stay ahead of that but um, if that Corvette gets in front, it's going to be quite difficult to catch him up. So as you saw on the first corner of the first lap, I did overtake that uh, that Corvette going around the inside. So that's put me in the best position to try and stay ahead. As you will see through the, um, the remainder of this race, it does start to catch up. 1.7 seconds behind. Because that Corvette does corner pretty well and it's fairly quick as well. So I do believe that is a quicker car. Because this uh, this definitely understeers quite a lot. And I had difficulty driving this one. Again, using a different car each race. It's really quite difficult to get into it. But luckily these first uh, four tracks are pretty small. Well, the first three are very small. Uh, the fourth one's a little bit bigger. As you see, scraping the barrier again there. Looking behind me to, just to check where that uh, Corvette is. 1.2 seconds. We was gaining. And then we take that last corner a little bit too slowly. And you can see he's right behind there. But we did enough to see him off. So that's another platinum medal. And a clean race for me as well. Which is pretty shocking to be honest. I don't usually get clean races. So the Corvette. There was a Ford, Pontiac, Cadillac and a Chevrolet. So that is all of the American cars. Quite a cool idea they had to do that. Different themes uh, for each of the sort of grouped four races. So we move on to the fourth street race, which is the hardest out of all four, I'd say. Uh, it's a bit longer, this one. Three laps of a longer track in Washington. And we are in a Skyline GTR. And the rest are in American cars. Not all muscle cars, though. We've got three muscle cars in front of us. Then there's an AC427 and a Dodge Viper. And the biggest challenge with this is the two cars mentioned last that are just in front there are much quicker in a straight line, especially towards the higher end of the acceleration. So they do start to pull away in certain aspects, but this um, Skyline handles better, even though it's... Uh, power slides a lot so this is the race I found the most difficult and I made the most mistakes in this so you're going to see me crashing a lot in this race again I was getting used to the commentary doing live commentary and uh, this car yeah it power slides a lot so we're about to see some terrible driving but we take that line quite nicely I'm trying to go on the inside of the Cobra or the 427 and uh failing there, getting behind him again as he's quite quick in a straight line but we managed to sort of get around the dodge around that corner but then we're back onto this very long straight which is not going to be good for us get a little speed boost from the AC there 
but you can see as soon as we go into fifth gear, they are starting to pull away. So really not the best, uh, the best for the straights, the skyline against these. But we hit the wall again. You're gonna, it's going to be a theme in this race of me keep hitting the wall. Going up the inside of the Viper there, nice and smoothly, really trying to modulate that throttle. Because uh, I tend to put too much power down in this and brake too late. And a combination of the both means crashing into the wall. So we're on this uh, the straight at the start again. Looking behind me loads, which was a rookie move. And crashing into the barrier, allowing them to catch up. But luckily they don't pass. Managed to uh, get in the way enough for them to uh, crash into the back of me and not overtake me. I'm hugging this inside line as much as possible. Try and minimise that distance around that long corner. Power sliding around the inside. I think I just tapped the barrier there. Maybe slowed down slightly. But overall, that wasn't too bad. Much better than I have been driving. Still power sliding around there. This car has got full power sliding on the, uh, the stats. So there's no surprise. It took me a few races to get used to it when I did the Pacific Muscle Series. And we're about to see the worst corner I've ever done, probably. Absolutely wrecked it completely. And I was laughing in the in the uh, Let's Play. So I wasn't expecting to do such a bad corner. But uh, the car's looking pretty wrecked there. As we get onto this straight again, and both the cars are going to pass me again. So we've got to try and overtake them again. And I drove straight into the Dodge's racing line. So that spun me into the wall again. And we handbrake turn. Well, not purposely. We we power slide, should I say, into the wall again. So um, I need a uh, collision with the wall counter because it would be in double figures at the moment. Never had such a bad race. The car's looking in an absolute state. But uh, we're in second. We have dropped the dodge for some reason. It's not keeping up with us now, so I can focus on just trying to get around this AC. As we've got better brakes and better steering, so we can try and do them on the corners. Trying to go around the inside again. As you can see, I'm actually catching him, even though that's a quicker car, just because I'm going around the inside of that corner, really hugging the inside there. But um, he braked and got well out of the way there, which allowed us to go around the inside again. So we do keep yo-yoing positions. On this more technical section, I do keep overtaking them. And then we get back to the straight, and they seem to just fly past again. So let's see if we can stop that happening this time. Trying to learn my lesson on this corner, but is it going to happen? Take your guesses. No, it doesn't. Not quite as bad as the uh, the other lap, but I still broke way too late and started power sliding. And once you start power sliding, you can't stop. And coll colliding with the barrier there, but luckily we are a second ahead of the AC, so he's probably not going to catch us here. Coming around this swooping left-hand corner can see both cars there in the rear view. Can we do enough to stay ahead? Not taking those corners very well. But uh, it's going to be enough. As you can see, I didn't have a good race, but I still managed to beat them. So overall, it was the most difficult one in the episode. But uh, it's definitely doable, that one. Nice amount of uh, kudos in-game there. So we've got the AC, a Dodge, a Ford, a Chevrolet, and a Pontiac. And that's going to do it for the east to west little section of the street races got the fastest lap as well as we can see the Pontiac GTO is still running there 24 seconds behind that is uh, not really suitable for this race that car <laughs> but 7,000 kudos altogether very nice indeed so that's going to do it for this episode guys so in the next episode we've got the classic grudge cluster of races to do street races five to eight so um that will be interesting so i hope you enjoyed it guys if you did please hit that like button and i'll see you in the next episode